video, I'll take you through all the necessary steps to install the Psycho plugin for Starlabs Dam. With this plugin, Psycho users can browse, search and embed digital assets from the Starlabs Dam without leaving the comfort of the Experience Editor or the Content Editor. Before installing the Psycho plugin for Starlabs, we need to make some configuration changes within the Starlabs environment. So, let's start there. First, we need to allow the Psycho instance to authenticate against Starlabs by setting up an OAuth client. When logged into your Starlabs environment, go to Manage and search for OAuth. Click the OAuth Clients button, and this will give you an overview of all the existing clients that can authenticate with your Starlabs instance. Click New OAuth Client and start entering your information. Start with a name. This is primarily used for identification purposes. Then, enter a client ID and the client secret. You will need these later on in Psycho as well. And finish with setting up the redirect URL. This will be the URL of your Psycho instance, followed by slash Psycho slash client slash stylelabs slash mapp. Click on create to create the actual client. Then we need to set up course, cross-origin resource sharing, and this will allow incoming traffic to your Starlabs DAM instance. Click on Manage and then go to Settings. On the left side, go to the Portal Configuration and then click Course Configuration. There, you can add the URL of your Psycho instance, in this example, stylelabs.dev.local. You could also enter multiple URLs here, for example for your test environments. And that wraps up all the configuration changes within the Stylelabs environment. Now, let's continue by installing the actual plugin in the Psycore environment. Once logged into Psycore on the launchpad, click on Control Panel and go to Install a Package. First, we need to upload the plugin that we've downloaded from dev.psycore.net to our Psycore instance. Once that has been uploaded, we can start the actual installation. Now, let's click Next and Install to inst start the installation procedure. During the installation, a question pops up. Psycho detected a change to an item which is already in the database. To make sure that we're not overriding important changes, we'll choose the Merge option. This will merge our changes with the current item in the database without affecting any child items. Click Apply to All and the installation will continue. Now that the plugin has been installed, we need to set up the configuration itself. Let's do that in the Content Editor. We open up the System node and there we'll find an item called Modules. Right click on the Modules item and select Insert from Template. Search for the M Configuration template in the System node. Then provide a new name for your item. Let's call it M Plugin. Now click Insert and an item will be created underneath the Modules item. Now we need to fill in the three fields provided by the item. The first field called M Instance needs to point to our Starlabs environment. The second field, Client ID, needs to contain the exact same Client ID as we provided when we did the configuration within Starlabs. And lastly, we need to provide a URL to search within the Starlabs environment. Use the same URL as your instance followed by slash n us slash content. Now click save and we're finished with setting up the configuration within Psycore. To test our settings, we can go back to the home item in the Psycore content editor. Click show editor to open up the rich text editor. There you will now notice the M button. Click the button and now you will need to authorize Psycore to browse your Starlabs DAM. 
After confirming the authorization, you can browse and search your Stylabs DAM and use those assets within your Cycler instance. As you can see, setting up the Cycler plugin for Stylabs DAM is relatively easy and quick to do. Thank you for watching. See you next time.